All right, now what, how do you use all the substitution business when you've got definite integrals running around? Well, have no fear. I know exactly what to do. And so here is what we're going to do. Um, looking right here at this first guy, uh, one of these is the derivative of the other. Okay, and when I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that if I start with tangent and differentiate that, I'll get secant squared. So I'm going to let u equal tangent x. And that means that du dx is going to be secant squared x, which makes du equal secant squared x dx. All right, no problem, right? So uh, my integral then becomes the integral of u du. How great is that? Here's u right here. Here's uh, uh, d, du right here. So all that sorts itself out really well. But what about my limits of integration? What do I do on that? Well, all you have to do on that guy is substitute into u our values. So I'm going to do two things here. All right. I'm going to do the tangent of zero. And I'm going to do the tangent at pi over three. Okay. Because what's going to happen is when I do the tangent of zero, that's going to be zero. That takes this place right here. Okay. And when I do the tangent at pi over three, that's my upper limit of integration. Then whatever that turns out to be, which in this case is square root of three. Tangent of pi over three is the square root of three. So the cool thing about what we just did is we don't have to unsubstitute at the end. We don't have to substitute back in. We can just take derivative, the antiderivative of this guy. Find the antiderivative of this guy and then use our new values for our upper lower limits and we're done. So here's what it would look like. U squared over two evaluated from zero to radical three. What does that mean? That means I evaluate this from radical three squared over two minus zero squared over two. And that gives us 3 halves minus 0 or 3 halves. There's, there's no going back in and messing things around. There's no resubstituting back in. Once we put this 0 right here, once we put that 0 in for this x, and once we put this pi over 3 in for this x, we are done with all our substitutions. We're finished. Okay. Well, what about this last guy? Um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, look for something that's the derivative of something else. So, so here's x. So I'm going to let u equal x squared minus 4. Okay? du dx is going to be 2x. Now watch, the hand is quicker than the eye. We've done this a lot of times. I need dx to be equal to something. So I'm going to divide by 2 and multiply by dx. That gives me my x, x dx right here. All right. My equality statement then, my equality integral becomes the integral of 1 over u, because here's x dx, that's, that's du part, so 1 half, okay? And then 1 uh, x dx, which is du over u. Now, I don't want to have to uh, resubstitute and do a whole bunch of stuff. So um, the next step I'm going to take is I'm going to put 0 in here for x. Okay. So when I do that, I get 0 squared minus 4. Okay. That gives me a lower limit of negative 4. And then I want to put 1 in for x. And so that's going to give me 1 squared minus 4, which is going to be negative 3. So this integral that I'm going to now evaluate is going to go from negative 4 to negative 3. And it's 1 over u du. So how does that guy integrate? I'll just slide it this way so we've got a little bit more room. It integrates to 1 half times the natural log of u evaluated from negative 4 to negative 3. Remember, 1 over u, when you anti-differentiate that, is natural log u. So now, to, to finish it up, we're just going to have 1 half times 
where we stop, which is natural log of negative 3, minus where we start, which is natural log of negative 4. But you can't take natural logs of negative numbers. And so what this is really saying uh, is, is no bueno. But if, if you notice, we've got natural log of negative 3 minus natural log of negative 4. Um, we can divide those, all right? So that's 1 half times natural log, whoa, times the natural log of negative 3 over negative 4, and the negatives divide out because negative divided by negative is positive, so it's uh, 3 fourths. And uh, there you go. There's some uh, substitution with your upper and lower limits of integration.